Hey everyone, welcome back to LC Model Shipbuilding. Um, in this episode, it's kind of a big episode, uh, the entire kit will essentially be done. Um, still got a lot of detail work by the end of the video, but um, you basically will be able to see what the ship looks like, and uh, there, there's kind of a lot that went into this one. So um, I'm pretty excited about where it's at, and uh, I think after this one there will be one more video, which will be basically decals, um, rigging, detail work, all that sort of fun stuff. But um, essentially we're coming down to the wire on this one, and uh, it's, it's just about done. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the cargo cranes that, um, with the kit, don't have a whole lot of detail. So, where is it? Right here. That is the cargo crane. I already did paint the floor platform, but um, not a lot of detail at all. So, I did the other one already, which now looks like this. And uh, I used the... Uh, photo etch from Titanic and um, it's actually pretty much the perfect length for for this so as you can see they are just about the same length so it won't be too noticeable um, but that will then go on to here and I'll show you how we went ahead and made this so first thing we're going to do is cut the crane out all right now we don't need the the boom there so that's going to get cut off and then this wheel up here at the top which would be a pulley of some sort gets cut and then there's a little tiny part that kind of still sticks up which is where the new one will attach to so let me move let me move the ship a minute and we're going to take our crane which is right there we're going to get that cut out Okay. This one here is not too bad to do with tweezers. That's how I did the first one. Just going to get it nice and firm and pull down to the one side. Okay. And then we're going to reline up on the other side. And same exact thing. All right, now we got our our crane part. So we're gonna take a dip of that in some CA glue. And that will slide right over the crane. There we go, got that, oops. All right. Next up, we need our our uh, pulley and rope. So we're gonna cut that out. Okay. One side is bigger than the other, so the top side We'll take the bigger one, and then there is a little tiny indent right at the very front here where the small one is going to go in. Trying to do it on camera is a little harder than when you're not. Okay, still not there. Okay. 
me see if I go. I don't really have an upside down, but how the rope line on these are bent, it seems to favor the other way. Okay, and just because I don't trust that uh, that top one there, I'm going to give it a little bit more CA glue because it felt like it was barely there. Yep, there we go. All right. All right, then we're just going to give that a minute to dry, and the, uh, the black lines will get painted black, and... That crane is done. Okay, nearly forgot one thing, um, putting a railing around it. So I did put a railing on it. One side would be open so the operator could get up on to the crane and then the other side should have a safety rail there. So all I did for that, <clears throat> um, took this piece of fence right here. And this has a couple varying sizes in the beams there. Um, I did find that this fits absolutely perfect though. So take the first section here, do a 90 degree, and then I'm just kind of curving it around. Now obviously I have to touch up some paint there. All right. A little dip in the CA glue. And oops, I'm upside down. For the direction that we're going. All right, a little bit of CA glue. And we're on just gonna need a touch-up paint just a little bit all right back soon okay we got our cranes on now they are where they need to be they look good i'm happy with them um our next step we're going to move on to building up our uh second class um cabins and uh promenade area so got my walls on here already we're going to run a jumper wire up from here up to here so we can run a light strip along our uh, deck here and then uh, basically get that glued down so let me get that started and I will be back okay I started working on the um, the back section here and I did not do very much video I know but really it was just putting pieces together and uh, doing a lot of photo etch so as you can see there's railings all through here. These originally had plastic molded railing in them, cut them all out, um, really wanted the photo etch look. It looks a lot more accurate. So um, that was done. We got the back half here pretty well where it needs to be. Um, I still got the, the cap stands that go in here. Uh, they were painted a black and had a white stripe on them. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture to add them, but uh, we'll get those put on. I still need to put some railings down these uh, steps right in here, so we'll get those put on. And that will almost wrap up the, the back uh, second class section. I'm going to go ahead and add some people on and uh, some deck chairs, but... Um, Aside from that, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out on the back end back here. You can see the cranes. Um, they're, they're in where they're supposed to be right there. Um, I did not glue them, so I actually left them so they can turn um, nice and free and easily. Uh, just for the fun of it, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll move on in the next part here. 
to the Folkstool. So this part, once I get the rear section done, um, I'll, I'll probably do more videoing of this assembly than I did with the rear, only because the rear had so much photo etch to it and it really just would not have been very conducive to taking a video of all of that. Uh, then from there, just got to put the rest of these lifeboats on that I've been kind of avoiding um, along the, uh, the starboard side. And that will probably bring us about to the end of this video um, at that point. The final video will end up being final touch-ups. There's going to be, like I said, a lot of a lot of areas just to go around and touch up and you know any anywhere that was showing glue or anything like that get that touched up and cleaned up and then the rigging so that will be basically what the remainder of this series looks like so I'm gonna go ahead like I said get these cap stands put on put some people on finish up a little bit of photo etch down here with those railings on the uh, steps and we'll be back Okay, in the last segment, I talked a little bit there about the uh, cap stands. So how the kit has them come, they're basically just black plastic, not, nothing really detailed to them or anything like that. Um, the real ship had black and white stripes, which I'll show you a picture of the real one here in a second. This is my solution right here which I think will work pretty well. I tried to freehand it at first, but that did not work. So I'm gonna show you a picture of what they actually look like, and then I will show you how I, how I did this. Okay, so as you can see there, they are definitely striped. They might've been more white and then striped black, but whatever, at this point, I'm going black with white. So, here you can see I have the capstan, and then I took a small strip of styrene. Um, basically, we just dip it in a little bit of glue to set and hold, and I drop it on. Now, if it overhangs a little bit, that's okay. I'll trim it up when we're done. Grab my next one. It took me six to get all the way around evenly and looking right. So that's what I will continue doing with this one. Oops, a little off camera there, sorry. Okay, we got three. And then on the top of it, everything I can see, it looks like they were they were brass like Titanic. So we will either paint them brass or see if I have a piece of photo etch that can go on it. I'm not positive if I do, but if not, we'll just paint it up after we trim it down. And uh should look fine, should be good. There was no way that I could get these to look straight no matter what I did. And uh, <clears throat> this really seemed to be my only solution, but it seems to be looking the part. Again, this would, uh, this would be helpful if, uh, they uh, built a larger kit of the ship because you could get these details a little bit better, I'm sure. But I have seen people on some of their builds that have done freehand paint and it just does not look the same. So I think I actually ended up spacing these a little bit closer. Um, I think I ended up with six, seven on this one. Yep, it's going to be seven. That's okay. Once you have them set, they're not gonna come off, so I'm not gonna try to fix it. 
but sometimes that happens when you're dealing with the camera and uh and not focusing as much as you should i guess anyway there we go we're gonna let that dry up a second and you can see on the top here a little bit there they overhang a little bit like i said i'm gonna cut them down flush with my uh my flush cutters once it dries up and then we'll put some brass over top of it and they'll look great all right so i'll get the other couple done and we'll get them on the deck okay so there we go we got our brass on the tops of the capstans and the bollards there or well i think they're called bollards i don't know but they look pretty good got the jack staff or flagpole whatever you want to call it and that's installed on the back and got quite a few people down on the deck they're all drying on right now and uh they're out on their cruise so we're well not cruise i guess uh transatlantic trip i guess that's what you call it back then but anyway there is going to be a strip that we will later run across the back here um it's a minor detail but i'll put that on toward later towards the end and from here we're going to move up to uh up to the bow so pretty happy with how the uh the stern turned out it really really looks good very very happy with it so onward we will continue okay i started a little bit of the work up here on the uh on the bow or folkstall i got um the bollards down right along here um this really is just a lot of little pieces that go on here um we got the anchor chains that are going to be going on um they actually from the kit come as a real piece of chain um that kind of surprised me most kits you end up having to uh, change it over to chain so I was happy to see that and then um, yeah it's basically just I pretty much have most of this stuff pre-painted and uh, it's just going to be a matter of uh, gluing it down and putting it on and getting it into its spot but one last piece that does go on the back here before we really get into rigging um, are the rat lines so they come on the uh the kit in molded plastic which are pretty terrible they look like this from the kit um i have the photo etched version um already painted up and ready to go so we're gonna get these cut out and then get them glued into place and this would basically be where they would climb up um to get into the uh the crow's nest on the uh on the mast um they also would have been used i'm sure for maintenance and whatnot on the ship so just basically doing things up high there so that comes out real nice and easy the bigger piece on here goes towards the back so it will get glued in and the holes are pre-drilled both in the deck and the uh, scale deck so that'll make it easy and they'll just get glued in and kind of go in there like that so i'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, i'll come back to you when we get back up onto the bow okay there we go we got both of the rat lines on they came out good pretty happy with them so we're gonna flip back over and head back up to the bow all right so our next step according to the directions is the anchor now most models come in either gold plated or plastic um the gold just looks very gaudy uh i guess they would call that an admiral's model um, this is not going to be an admiral's model. I want it to look authentic-ish. So I painted mine black like the real ones would be. And uh, I know they're going to end up needing a little bit of touch-up once we get it onto the ship. But um, shouldn't be too bad. Got one small problem. It looks like I broke the top of the anchor head off. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe not. Never mind. I did not. It just is that badly molded. Okay, a little bit of trim there. And that goes right here. So we're just gonna hit a dab of glue on it. Oh, that's too much. And we're gonna drop our anchor into its spot. All right, now one minor problem that I've been having, as I showed everybody in previous videos, the decks are all lined with uh, the foil tape. And if you forgot to forget to poke the hole back down in there, your parts won't go in. So simple toothpick, and that should fix it. There we go. All right, so we got the anchor in. All right, next up, there is a little, looks like a little housing type thing. Ooh, I have the anchor on backwards. At least it's not dry yet. Okay, let's put that guy back on there. Voila. Okay, anchor in place. Now we have the little, uh, it's not a housing, not quite sure what it is. It's probably a chain guide that goes right above the anchor. And again, all of these parts are going to end up needing to have just a tiny bit of touch up. Once we get closer to completion here, I'll be going back through the whole entire ship and just basically touching up anywhere that has glue marks or has uh, has any kind of uh, white left that has kind of come through on the um, on the uh, cutting from parts. Hmm. Okay, so the anchor actually comes back a little bit, I guess like that. It actually does not fit into the hole, so we're going to have to readjust that. Okay, but that guide does go right there. If it'll fit in. Well, I'm going to give that a little bit of CA glue just to kind of set it. Okay. Now the anchor kind of rides right there, according to the directions. Oh no, I see. That part goes on first and then the anchor goes on. So that makes more sense than anything. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Okay. Next we have um, we have a winch. It looks like C ten. Now I do have photo etch parts also that would have been like the steam drives. I'm going to end up knocking these down and uh, I'll put the steam drives on. but I don't have that piece of photo etch right in front of me right now. So we'll get that in a little bit here. Okay. And this guy goes right behind the anchor. Right 
there. All right. And we have another winch that goes right in front of the cargo hold right here, which is the same part number. So we'll put that one on quick. Okay, a little touch of glue. And for this kind of stuff, I'm generally just using normal model glue, aside from that little chain guide that was there, because that was giving me problems sticking. Okay, that one's on. All right, then we have another guide of some sort that goes in the back here, and they're painted black. That's these little guys here. Now, all of the cap stands, I gotta make them. They're gonna be done pretty much exactly how I did for the stern cap stands. I was happy with how they came out. I did see a Facebook post with a guy that had uh, gotten some 3D printed ones for Titanic and they actually looked really good. So I may consider changing that in the future with these. Wouldn't be too big of a deal, but um, they do look better, I must admit. But I'm happy with how the way I did it last night is turning out. They look good. Okay. There we go. Next up, we got these two, which will have photo etch brass on top of them as well. These are your anchor, uh, I forget what they call them, but basically what the chain for the anchor attaches to. And really, I don't usually film when I'm just putting pieces in, because there's nothing too exciting about this. I mean, most people have done this type of part, but I figured I might as well, just in case. It does go much quicker when you have everything pretty much pre-painted. Perfect. All right. Next up, the cargo or the crane. This will be your anchor crane. Again, it's pre painted already. This one I will use the part that came with the kit. Um, it really, it's fine. It doesn't look bad. It's a decent, uh, decent mold molding, whatever you want to say. Okay, now that crane that I'm putting on right now, then we'll have two pieces of rigging that go over to the side and kind of hold it down in place. So when the ship is moving and whatnot the crane's not swinging all over the place so when it comes time to do our rigging we'll have that to string up another spot where the foil tape is blocking me there we go all right 
And aside from the four cap stands, that is about it. So next up, I'm going to get the chain um, painted up. We'll get that installed. We'll get the mast on and we'll get the fencing around the outside here. And that's pretty much going to wrap up video nine once we get that part done. Okay, we're back again. Um, essentially, aside from a couple lifeboats on this side, all of the parts are on this kit at this point. Um, still got a little bit of photo etch to do, but uh, you can see up in the crow's nest, I got some watchmen there. I got a lot of people to add on the decks yet, so that'll all take place here over the next week or so. Um, and then... Uh, I got all the touch-up painting to do, like I was talking about. But really, once that is done, then uh, it will be on to rigging. And um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll kind of go from there. So I'll just kind of do a better pass-through here of it. So all the rigging that is pre-set is kind of hanging there right now, which is okay. There's the people in the watchtower then uh, you got obviously the funnels and all that good stuff that everybody's seen from the previous videos and we got our rat line up on our mast and uh, a lot of people already back here on the back deck so I have to add some deck chairs, but uh, essentially that kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, still need to add all the decals on it. Uh, I'll add a railing probably along here um, in brown, so it kind of looks like wood. So a lot of little things that are still going to happen to it yet. Um, like I said, touch up painting, you know, there's some little spots here and there that are shiny and all of that but that will all get masked and uh, hidden through paint and uh, she should look pretty good so the next video like I said will be probably the last one on on this series and then it'll be time to move on to the SS United States so thanks for watching and uh, if you've enjoyed the video please just hit a subscribe down at the bottom there and uh, Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.